I began collecting data a few weeks after I started staking ICP in the NNS, and I'm going to share that information with you now. Here I'm logged into the NNS, and we'll just take a quick look here. Currently just have ICP in the NNS. We'll see here that there's 30.25 ICP and a donation wallet, which currently has zero ICP in it. If we take a look at staking, we'll see here that I have 2,500 ICP staked. And we also see that I have 79.98 maturity. You also see that it's showing that I have a 1% age bonus, which is not exactly accurate. That's that's actually rounded down. And you see that there's an eight year dissolve delay giving a 100% bonus, 79.98 ICP available in maturity. And the age here is listed as 81 days, 16 hours. You can also see that the last maturity distribution was September 2nd. And as we see, it is currently about 2.51 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time on September 2nd. As far as the data, I began collecting that on June 20th, 2024, when I had 1,500 ICP staked on an eight-year dissolve delay. At that time, the age was about 20 days giving about a 0.37% bonus for a total bonus of 100.75% with daily rewards being reported at 0.62. And I began data collection when I already had 9.74 maturity. And we can see here as the days progressed that the rewards are pretty much in line. There are some days where you don't earn rewards and then those rewards just roll over. So whether it takes two days or three days or four days, you'll just get two or three or four times the amount of rewards once you do finally get your rewards. But rewards are based on governance participation, which is voting. And if we look in the NNS under voting for internet computer, you'll see that there's no actionable proposals currently, although there are still some active proposals out there if we were to select everything and it'll show us a number of proposals that have been executed well actually maybe there are no proposals out still waiting for the voting results to come in so today it's looking like there's not going to be any votes which means that i probably won't get any distribution of icp tomorrow but that's okay because when the icp is distributed you will still get your icp it's just that you would have got you know from the days that were missing and there was no distribution it's just that there is that delay because the distribution is based on governance which again we're talking about voting and if there's nothing to vote on then there's no distribution possibly for you know a day or two and in any case all i've been doing as far as recording the, the data is i just simply go to staking and we see that i have 79.98 if i go over to the spreadsheet i'm just going to record 79.98 icp and here this is the neuron that is staked and you can see there's 2500 icp the age is about 81 days currently although i started staking prior to that it's just that i was adding icp which to point that out you'll see that this log that i started to keep started with 1500 icp and you also see that i already had 9.74 rewards because i actually started something like 20 22 days prior 18 days prior something like that three four weeks prior with a thousand icp then I added another 500 and then not too long after that I added another thousand ICP on July 1st but we'll see here that it says that the days or the age is 81 days and if we actually look in the neuron it actually says 81 days 16 hours so here in the spreadsheet this is actually just rounded up so this was a little shy of 82 days but I recorded it as 82 days and that's just how I've been doing it you know so again this is is actually at 81 days 16 hours that you'll see here and I'm recording it as 82 days and as far as the rest of the data we see here daily rewards maturity 1.02 and we'll see total bonus down here towards the left at uh, 102.8 and we'll also see the age bonus listed at 1.4 percent and that's how I've been 
keeping track of the data. And over the last, let's just say 100 days, roughly, so far I have earned 79.98 ICP in maturity, which is from staking. And also, again, remember, I didn't start with 2,500. I started with 1,000. I increased to 1,500. And something like 10 days later, I increased to 2,500. So as of now, we're looking at about 64 days of staking with 2,500 ICP. You'll also see that I'm currently following Jerry Banfield's Neuron, mainly because he followed Definity and at least one or two other people. I have not ever voted based on this following so far. I've always just voted manually. But if I were to be sick or forget or go camping or, you know, something and I wasn't around to vote or if I just didn't have time to vote, you know, because obviously I can still vote from my phone, this would help ensure that I wouldn't miss the maturity distribution because it'll still vote based on who you're following. Given the fact that Jerry is recently kind of quit, I'm probably going to remove that and either follow Definity or find somebody else to follow that is even more active than Definity. Now, something else that is very important to know and keep in mind is it depends on the maturity modulation as to how much ICP you actually get. So to be clear, this maturity is exactly that. It's maturity. It's not liquid. It's staking rewards, but I have to spawn a neuron and wait four or five, six, seven days some amount of time. It's not an exceptionally long period of time. I have yet to spawn a neuron to actually make my maturity liquid from the staking rewards. From what I understand, I think it's like a week that it takes to spawn the neuron. When you spawn the neuron and you get your maturity distribution, how much you actually get is actually highly dependent on the maturity modulation at that time. Okay, so specifically here under governance, we will scroll down the page here and we'll see that for every 100 maturity converted to ICP, you would actually receive 96.45 at this time. So there's a range between 95 at the low and 105 at the high. So whenever possible, you, you want to take your maturity by spawning it to a neuron when this is at at least 100, if not higher. Otherwise, you're going to be losing ICP. Now, Obviously, if you manage to do it when you're at 105, then you'll get a 5% bonus. But if you're not paying attention, you know, you might pay like a 2, 3, 4, 5% penalty, so to speak. It's not really a penalty, but it may as well be. So you need to make sure that you're checking dashboard.internetcomputer.org forward slash governance in order to maximize your returns on your maturity. And of course, be aware that there are other options like water neuron that you might want to check out if you have any ICP that you're thinking about staking.